Here to talk about the latest happenings in the city of Oakland is Mayor Libby Schaff. Thanks for being with us today. Thank you, Anne. I have to start, unfortunately, on a bit of a down note. We have had another spate of shootings over the past week, and this is bringing up a lot of talk about ghost guns and how to regulate them, as well as the revolving door at the jail. Now, I know that's really aren't subjects that you can deal with on a city level normally, but what moves are you making to try to shore this up? Yeah, and it, it has been a very tragic week. Uh, the loss of a 15-year-old girl, uh, Kamala Brown, just horrible. Uh, but, and I have hope. Um, you know, I just shook the hand of the President of the United States. Joe Biden this week made America safer. Uh, he, through his administrative powers, enacted tremendous controls on ghost guns, which are becoming such a plague in our city. To date, uh, Oakland police have uh, you know, taken more than 100 ghost guns off the street just this year, more than 300 last year. Uh, these guns do not have serial numbers on them. They are not traceable. They are easy to assemble in 30 minutes. And President Biden just used his executive authority to make it much harder. Now, he also said he really needs Congress to enact universal background checks, ban assault rifles, and remove the, uh, the, the excuse from liability for gun manufacturers. Those are all policies he's very clear that he wants Congress to enact. But in the meantime, he is doing everything he can to take these new dangerous weapons off our streets. Of course, on the federal level, this is going to get a lot of pushback from Republicans. It almost seems more realistic to make these moves in California, where you're going to have a lot of liberal support and a lot of support for gun control in general. So, I mean, locally, this is such a problem. And, you know, your police chief talking about it this week and, and just looking sort of defeated because of some of the factors that he's dealing with when it comes to the ghost guns. And again, like I mentioned, the revolving door at the jail concerns about zero bail. Can anything be done to make Oakland safer? Absolutely, Anne. And I have had several meetings with the presiding judge. I have stated publicly, I believe we need to return to many of our pre-COVID bail policies. We have seen cases where someone has been arrested, they have then been released, and before they are even tried for the offense that they were arrested for, they have committed another violent crime. This is wholly unacceptable. It is not keeping our community safe. And that is why I am supporting modifications to the bail schedule that's in place right now. It's a COVID bail schedule that Nancy O'Malley has put some very specific proposals in front of uh, the judge that handles bail policy here for Alameda County. So this is a local issue, but we cannot have dangerous criminals that have a record of violence returning to our streets and, and our ceasefire strategy which has shown that we can actually prevent violence from happening in the first place, really relies on the wisdom of probation and parole officers. One of the requests that we're demanding is that they be consulted before a judge issues bail or releases someone back into the community before they are even tried for the offense they're arrested for. So those are some changes that I, as the mayor of Oakland, am absolutely and unapologetically advocating for. I believe they are needed to make our streets safer right away. All right. So we will see where those proposals go. In the meantime, in Oakland, even some of the neighborhoods that a lot of people would have considered safe are, are seeing issues with armed robbery. Uh, we're talking about uh, it, thefts of expensive bikes on some of the trails in the Oakland Hills. What do you say to people who are just trying to enjoy their lives riding their bikes on some of the wonderful trails that we have there in the city and, and are faced with this threat? <laughs> Yeah, and this is a new one. We haven't seen this before, and that's why we did want to make the public aware. Uh, it, it, it's only, I believe, four instances that this has happened where uh, an individual bike rider has had their expensive bike stolen from them. Uh, I will say that overall, 
Robberies are down year to date in Oakland, 18 percent compared to this time last year. But this is a different kind of crime that we've never seen before. So we want to make people aware you're always safer when you're not alone and just be aware of your surroundings. I, I know that on your trip to Washington, D.C., that you referred to, which actually was to see the historic swearing in of Judge Ketanji Brown Jackson. That must have been amazing. Um, you know, I had already had plans to be in Washington, D.C. Uh, my trip was paid for by the Rodell Fellowship. Um, and I just had the good fortune of also being invited um, to witness history, to see Judge Ketanji Brown Jackson stand on that podium with Oakland's own Kamala Harris as the vice president, um, a president, Joe Biden, who has appointed more black judges than every other president combined. Uh, it really was a historic moment and her words were so moving. I had tears in my eyes. Uh, the audience gave many standing ovations. I said, like, the last time I did that was at a Prince concert, that many up and downs, just because every word that was said just gave me tremendous hope for America, that our institutions are going to prevail. And while we have gone through some very difficult times as a nation, while we are going through a difficult time as Western democracy, as we feel for our friends in the Ukraine, that there are these moments that give us hope about the power of good ethical leadership. And that is what we are seeing come from the White House right now with the appointment of Judge Jackson, with the new policies around ghost guns. Um, this is a White House that has really worked hard every day to answer the call, address the things that are keeping Americans up at night uh, like the threat of violence, but also giving us hope about a future of a more just society. Also, when you were in D.C., you talked with a Department of Transportation officials about some future plans at Oakland's waterfront. What are we talking about? That's right. Well, Oakland has a suite of projects that are necessary for the ballpark but actually have been needed by Oakland long before the ballpark was proposed. These are ways of improving mobility, reducing greenhouse gases, and of course, making Oakland much, much safer. Also making it easier for people to choose active transportation, like biking, walking, taking transit. And so this suite of projects is called Town for All. I'm very proud that this project is the one official Bay Area endorsed what we call mega small project. We will be applying for a $113 million grant from the federal government's mega project program, um, which will be a huge boom for all of Oaklanders to make it safer, cleaner, and easier to get from all of the neighborhoods, um, from downtown to West Oakland to Chinatown, and to improve that access to our waterfront, including Jack London Square and Brooklyn Basin. So it sounds like even if the A's ballpark plan totally fizzles, big changes are coming to the waterfront. That is right. And big changes are coming to all these neighborhoods to make them safer, to make them greener and cleaner. Uh, you know, I don't know if you've driven through downtown lately, Ann, but we could, we could improve the traffic flow, the conflicts between the trains and trucks that we rely on to keep our port of Oakland going and the growing mixed use neighborhood in Jack London and that whole historic warehouse district. Um, I mean, Anne, you might remember that it used to be, you know, an industrial warehouse district. Now it's full of brew pubs and condos and CrossFit gyms and people need to be safe as we still keep that port of Oakland commerce going. All right, Mayor Libby Schaff, we appreciate your time on CBS News Bay Area. Great. Thank you, Anne. See you next month.